we've got an we've got a special treat for you guys. We've got amazing guests here from the Meadowvale Music Theater. We have Don uh, we've got Donnie Morris, Nancy Reed, and Nicholas Cunha here from Catch Me If You Can. Thank you so much for being here. Guys. Thank you for having us. I'm excited. This this like this is really catchy. The the graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of legs. The show is yes. very catchy as well. Lots of legs. Absolutely. Yeah. Talk, Lots to of us, legs. <laughs> talk to us about the show, Catch Me If You Can. The show is based on the movie starring Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio, oh, okay. based on a real life story of a young man, and we do mean young, who uh, pretended to be a pilot, a doctor, a lawyer, and uh, made a, a lot of money by fraudulently passing bad checks. Wow. And a very smart young man, but a very talented young man, who went to jail mm -hmm. for only half of his sentence because he got out early so that he could then join the FBI and catch other crooks who were passing bad checks mm -hmm. and defrauding uh, uh, <laughs> people through credit cards, etc. He was a very, very intelligent young man. What an exciting show. And Nicholas, you get to play this character? Yes, I get to play Frank Abagnale Jr., which is the Leonardo right. DiCaprio character. That's awesome. Yeah. That must be so much fun. It is. It's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, like, I like to say he's like me. I mean, he isn't like me. Like, I'm not <laughs> going around passing bad checks. Oh, but God. in terms of uh, just his ferocity and uh, energy and things, I find that I'm, I see a lot of parallels between us, and right. he's really easy to play in that way. Oh, okay. But it's also it's super fun because there's like 21 dance numbers in the show and nice. lots of singing and That's acting cool. and stuff. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm I'm curious, how did you guys, how did Meadowvale Music Theater come to figure out like, oh, we want to put on Catch Me If You Can? Well, Meadowvale Music Theater is a community theater base, uh, and we put on one Broadway show a year mm -hmm. as part of the Encore series in at the Meadowvale Theater. The Encore series is is uh, the Mississauga Music Theater Mississauga group yes. and we have five shows within the series all musicals and we try to find musicals all five that will blend in together and still offer uh, talent to uh, our audience as well as an opportunity for our community to show off their talent as well. And so we thought Catch Me has not been done in Mississauga no. or too much in the Toronto area at all. And it is a fabulous, fun-filled, action-packed show. And it's done like a TV variety show. Cool. Uh, where uh, there's some action, there's some dancing, there's somebody stops to sing, and then there's more action. Amazing. We have an 11-piece band on stage, which is really uh, rare for yeah. community theater. Usually you have uh, the pit and mm -hmm. you never see the musicians. But here the band leader and all the musicians are on stage and Frank actually interacts with them a few times during the show. That's so, so cool. It, it, it will be a lot of fun. Very different uh, than many of the musicals that we put on in Middleville. Right. Mm -hmm. So Donnie Morris is the producer of this of this production. I'm curious, like, um, what what's your favorite part about putting on a show like this? Uh, when it gets to the end and it all comes together and you, you yeah. see it on stage. But no, um, it's, it's, it's a big puzzle and uh, it's, um, it's fun seeing different talent come together and the cooperation has to work among the artistic team. We, um, I'm one of the producers. Our executive producer has been a long time producer, Donna Faggins, and she's, uh, she's moved outside the area so she needed some help. So myself and uh, Danny Delcourt are co-producing and she's coaching us along quite well. We have a great uh, award-winning uh, director, Rennie Biforte, and um, she's, she's really uh, putting her heart into it. And our stage manager, Wendy Guest, has done a number of shows. So okay. it's, a, it's a team effort. And um, yeah, and from like first time being involved at this level of uh, producing, it's really interesting to see, like I say, all the pieces come together. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, that, that's the fun part, seeing it from you know when we had nothing but uh, an idea to you know hiring a director then hiring a music director well we had a little blip there and our mu original music director got hired by Shaw so we wow. lost our original music director and then Bob Harding who's done many Metabell productions yep. he's stepped in for us and Good. fell in love with the music and is putting his heart and soul into it Amazing. so it's working out quite well um, but from having you know a couple people to then running the auditions and then starting to accumulate the props and build the sets. Really nice just how in so many different hands 
that need to come together to make the production you know what it is and it's going to be a great show a really great cool. show cool yeah it's it's interesting cuz um i have seen the movie and what is one of the most complicated sets that actually you have to deal with or like that you guys had to build in order to to show that on stage um well i believe that will be, will be the concept <laughs> is that the set is constantly changing and constantly moving oh, okay. and things come in and out and um there's the the airport scene, so we fly in. Uh, windows come down, oh, nice. and we have um, like airport seating and things like that. And okay. isn't as much of a challenge. But what's great about uh, Renee, the choreographer and director, um, she's she is a dancer by trade, and so she understands the need for space. And right. so we'll do a scene, and there'll be a set there, bed, mm -hmm. bedroom, windows, and things. Right. And then they'll all fly out for the musical number or, oh, or cool. be taken okay. out, so that there's room for like the eleven person dance number right. to, to take place. <laughs> yeah. which, and it's great that yeah. way. Uh, 11 That's or 30. Awesome. Or 30. There are just the, the cast oh, of 30. Cool. <laughs> and Nancy, you're actually playing Carol Strong. Uh, yes. The, uh, the I'm also the president movie. of Meadowvale Music Theater yes. and have been for 17 years. Wow. And uh, it is a, a fabulous group. Um, the Encore series in total is, is just a great group of uh, theater, group, theater groups that manage to work cohesively. And it's so much fun to have an opportunity to not only be on stage and work with these fantabulously actors, um, talented people, but also to be working backstage and seeing how everybody's working together and, and putting aside possibly sometimes artistic differences to make the show good. Right. And so that's, uh, that's our main our main. Goal. You didn't talk about your character. You I know. didn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> see, you she plays you want two roles. You, <laughs> oh, two roles. Okay. Well, they, there is a school teacher that um, <clears throat> Frank Abagnale has uh, made very angry by <laughs> pretending to be a substitute teacher. Okay. So I have a very small scene there, and then uh, I'm the fiance's mother, and uh, when he gets to uh, New Orleans, we have a, a little chat. <laughs> so that um, the incoming possible fiance understands what he's getting into when right. he comes into our family. Mm. So, um, and that's another fun-filled, action-packed musical number. Yeah. <laughs> nice, amazing. Um, the the theater company. I know community theater is like it's it's very close knit. Like, is there? I just want to go across the board and just find out what's one of your favorite things about working with Meadowvale Music Theater right right now. Um, for me personally, because I'm a Mississauga native and I was born, raised, grew up here, um, the ability to work with such a talented group of people so local, mm -hmm. I think is fantastic. I mean, people do come in from all over the place. Right. A lot of the cast, like we have people from Guelph and Milton, but the fact that it takes place in Mississauga, it, it's in a theater in Mississauga, um, just gives it that like home, home kind right. of feeling. And it's yeah. just, it's really nice to be able to perform within my own community for my community. Cool. And I think that that's what I love the most, but specifically MMT. Awesome. Nancy? Well, I have to say that the development and the, the cooperation with families and professionals and amateurs and how everybody works together towards the same goal and there's no, um, I shouldn't say there's no friction because there's <laughs> always going to be some, but the idea, Artistic differences. the idea is, is that we work together and right. families, we've seen people who, younger people who started with us um, 17 years ago mm -hmm. and she was this tall and all of a sudden right. she's grown and graduated out of university and she's a teacher and she's coming back to work with us yet again and it's so much fun Amazing. to see that. That's and just great. quickly, sorry Johnny, we're almost yeah. out of time, but just quickly, what's, what's your favorite thing? Um, it's it's the teamwork. Yeah, it's, it's yeah it really awesome. is the teamwork and how everyone pulls to, together to put on a great show. Amazing. And this is going to be a truly great show. Mm -hmm. Cool. And it happens at Middleville Theater February 17th to 26th. Make sure you guys check out their website, get tickets, and watch these wonderful performers and see Catch Me If You Can. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.